What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. This is a bonus episode, because in the last episode, the finale, we finally defeated Gruntilda, we had collected all of the jiggies, all of the notes, and we got an interesting secret ending as well, that alluded to some more collectibles we could find, and in fact, there were actually a few more things I wanted to highlight in this game, so... We're back, and... We're ready to go. Um, we're starting off all the way out here in the beginning of Gruntilda's Lair. We still have some of the benefits from all of our collectibles before, but in fact, we're actually going to start off by returning to Spiral Mountain. Oh man, I should have come here earlier. I love the music here. But we've got all of our fun little friends, our vegetable friends out here, and we're actually going to return back to Banjo's house because there are a few different things we can do there where the whole adventure started. So first of all, it's pretty fun to see, right? We There's the... Oh, there's that beach, right? Oh, or is this just Treasure Trove Cove? No, it's just Treasure Trove Cove, I guess. We have that little portrait over there. We've got the goldfish. Is there anything going on over here on this side? Oh, we've got a little picture of Tootie. Always appreciated. Now, I think, if I recall correctly, we can do something with... with this painting. Well, hey! You found my secret moving picture game. <laughs> Complete this puzzle, and you can win a mystery prize. It better be good, soil brain. Do I get some new moves? Er, maybe. <laughs> now watch this. So, <laughs> use the left stick to move Banjo's hand. Press A to pick up and put down pieces. X to return them to the side, or the right stick to rotate them. So this is pretty difficult. At the moment, we'll see what I can do, I guess. I think that belongs there. Where does this go? I think this goes like right about here. What is nice is that they have some semblance of the picture already kind of on the board, which honestly, in my opinion, makes this actually doable because some of these are pretty difficult otherwise. I haven't actually gone through and done all of these on my own before, so this is pretty cool. This will be my first time, you know, really going out of my way to complete this as well. Nope, that is not right. Should be over this way. Perfect. This goes up here. And again, you've also noted that we can actually rotate the pieces too, which adds a whole new dimension to trying to actually solve the puzzles. So this one is kind of like the, the tutorial level, but there is another one. There are, in fact, quite a few more. So we're going to go ahead and try and solve these and see what that mystery prize is at the end. Admittedly, I don't actually know what it is, so I'm pretty eager to find out. <laughs> All the while, this moving picture, we've got Banjo in the background just derping around in his room. Hey, you did it! It was easy, Beetle Breath. What do we win? Listen carefully and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor of the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus 1. Huh. So, alright, well I guess we'll, we'll give that a go eventually. You can also try level 2 of my game if you like. Just look at the picture again. Okay, well we'll do that. And then maybe we'll go and see what those what those will be. For some reason, I feel like... No, that doesn't go there. Does it go, like, here-ish? Oh, they all just kind of... Interesting. Hey, I heard a mumbo token. This is such a cool concept. I don't know if moving picture puzzles are a thing, generally speaking, but, but they're pretty helpful. They're not helpful so much as they are fun to try to figure out. And it's tough, obviously, as things are moving. Is it up here? To the left one? There we go. So you can see, they definitely get a little bit more difficult as time goes on. Over here, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Alright, this one is like right here, I think. This one goes like right about here, I would say. Wow, that timer is really flying by. Where does this one go? Probably right here? Yep. I would not be surprised if this was something that 
not too many people actually took the time to do. Right? It's kind of... It's kind of out of the way, right? You have to really try to find it if you'd like. And even when you're moving quickly, you can see that it takes quite a bit to get all the pieces in place properly. That looks about right. And then we got one more. Finished it with just a little over 10 seconds left. Wow. Yippee, that's it. Now go and enter the word bottles bonus two on the sandcastle floor. So we might actually go through, it takes a while to input all of these, but I don't know what these bonuses are. I guess we could give it a look, right? Why not try level three now? Yeah, I mean, we'll give it a go. There are these seven puzzles, there are obviously the seven bonuses on top of that, and then there are some other things I want to show off, so... So we'll give it a go. I guess I have to be closer? There we go. What's level three gonna be? Ooh. This is from Rusty Bucket Bay. So this is probably gonna be like around here, I think. Here, maybe? Oh, it's so tough to tell when it's all moving. <clears throat> I don't know, guys. It's like up here. Or maybe I have to rotate it. Oh, man. That would be... That's tough. Where is this one? Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna put that back, too. This is getting tough. Where is this? Oh, it does need to be rotated. Do you guys see that? The orientation of the, the bed was off. It's over here. There we go. What about this one? This one must be in this corner, based on the pattern. This one needs to be on the floor, I think. Yeah. Whew. This is tough, guys. This one is probably, like, right about here. No? Oh, it's a little bit up. Nope. No, come on. <laughs> I'm getting bodied right now. So this one belongs, like, right... No, it's a little bit lower, I think. There we go. This one goes there. This one belongs in one of the corners. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time, guys! Oh, so this one was upside down the whole time. So I'll keep going for the sake of practice, I guess. Oh, that's not it. What? That's not it either? It's gotta be, like, up over here? Is it this way? Nope. Okay, well, we definitely didn't do this one very well. I, I think I'm gonna have to be a little bit more intentional about my piece placement this time around. Tough luck, guys. You're out of time. Why not try again? Aw, oh, so they're gonna make me have to look up at the puzzle again? Wow. Okay, so they're introducing rotation this time around. So I'm gonna try and keep an eye out for landmarks like the notes and um, the, the golden feathers. I think that'll be a good way of going about this. I think this was more like up here, right? Or was it more like... Oh wait, was it rotated though? I'm actually just gonna put it on the side for now. This one is rotated this way. Okay. Where else are the, the guys showing up? So this one is rotated this way, I believe. I think it's up here. Yep. This one is rotated that way. So we'll do that. And we can put that here, I think. Yep, this one is upright, which we know, I believe. Wait, no, it goes, like, up here. Maybe to the right a little bit? No? Where does it go? I think it's, like, right... Is it right here? It is, okay. At the very least, I don't think that, um... Oh, man. It doesn't help that they change the orientation of the puzzle all the time, too. This has got to be, like, here. Or, no, one to the left. Um, this one is, like, here. Wow, this is tough, guys. This is tough stuff. Did I just... I think I did that the wrong way. No? Okay. Oh, uh, we're not gonna do it in time, though. We're not gonna get it in time, guys. Hmm. This one is probably... No, wait, no, it's like this. Darn it, we're not gonna have enough time! Oh, The struggle is real. If these do take me many, many tries, I'll probably work some, you know, editing magic to show the solutions. But I wanted to show this off. Alright, we're gonna put this over here. Put this guy over here. This guy is up twice. No, he goes, like, up here, I think. Or, is it over here? No? Over here? There we go. 
What else can I see? This guy has banjo for a little bit. Um, the, it's right here. There we go. Okay, this one goes like up here, I think. Or no, down one. What? No? Okay. Then, oh, it had the feather on it. So not, not there. Come on, down one. There we go. This one has banjo. I think that goes right there. This one had the the port or whatever. So I think that goes up here. Which one is this one? This is a corner. It probably belongs up here. This is another corner. I believe this one belongs up here. This one just had... No, not there. Here. Oh, what? Oh, wait, no. It's below. Really? There we go. This one is upside down. So I think that goes there. Oh man, this is getting close, guys. Er, where does this go? Up here? Yeah. This one goes over here, I think. This one is going to go over this way. Nice. Where does this one go? Like this? Yes. This one goes over here. Oh, come on, we're so close. We're so close. Game, work with me. Work with me, game. Come on. We're so close. Oh, we were so close, guys. We were two pieces away. Wow, this is only level three. I believe there are seven levels. So, <laughs> this might be a minute. This might be a minute. But every attempt, I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. So, to a certain extent, that's all you can really hope for. So, we'll start off by doing some of these. I think the ones with the notes are the ones that I can most reliably do. Or, is this... Come on, up a little bit. There we go. Where is this one? Um, up here? No? Okay, no, it's definitely lower. There we go. This is a corner? No, it's close, though. No, it's the left one. There we go. This is a corner. Where, though? This one? Yeah. Okay, this one has banjo in it. So, or in it, so that's gonna go over there. This one, I think, belongs here. We had our friend over this way. This one has to be in this area somewhere. I, thought, I think it was this one. Oh, wait, no, it's rotated. There we go. This is a corner piece that I think belongs up here. Yep. This one had banjo in it, so it's gotta be up here. This one has the, the porthole in it in addition to this pattern, so I think... Wait, where does it go? Here. No. Where does it go? Oh, all right, we're gonna put it to the side. We'll come back. This one is definitely a top row. Okay, so it's over here. This one is a corner over here. This one is on the side. So, it's gotta be like... Oh, it's this one. Oh no, I'm not gonna get it again. Oh man, <laughs> I'm just barely too slow. Oh boy, okay, editing magic might happen. This is it, guys. This is it. Nice. Whew. Wow, nice going. <clears throat> Try the word bottles bonus three this time. I wonder if these bonuses work without actually having completed the puzzles. I feel like 
I feel like, go on, give level 4 a go. I feel like with an Xbox 360 game, they would have the capability to prevent that from happening. Ooh, so now we're in Nabnuts' quarters, I guess? So that one goes here, this, this guy goes up there, this guy goes over here, this is a corner. Oh wait, but it's this corner. Alright, this guy goes up here, I believe. Yep, and this goes over here. Where does this go? We've got a little bit of the plant in there. Oops, that's not really where I wanted to put that, but that's okay, I guess. Hmm. Oh, that was like down here. Weird. Okay, that can go there. This guy belongs over in this corner, I believe. Where does this go? Here? Yeah. This guy has got to go over here. This thing had the, the plant in it, so we'll go over this way. We're doing all right. Famous last words, right? That go here? No. Here? There we go. This one had banjo in it, or has banjo in it, so that's probably there. This one is pretty dark. Where does this piece go? Here. This guy goes over in this area. This, I believe, is up here. Nice! Would you look at that? Look at that thumbs up from Banjo's hand. Nice. Easy, huh? You can now go and see what the word Bottles Bonus 4 does. Awesome. So we got that one pretty well. So, hey, we, we take those victories. Hey, level 5 is waiting for you. Say no more, Bottles. We're on it. Oh, so now this is inside Tip Top, I believe. So we'll bring this guy over. Wait, no. It was like this way. This is red over here. Or a little bit lower. There we go. What is this? Um, over here? Yeah. This one has a little bit of red in it, so I think it's here. This one is part of the bottom of one. Right there. This one had the... well, no, it's actually different. It's to the right a little bit more. That one. This one is where? It's got to be up here somewhere. Alright, we're just gonna cross that one out for now. What is this one? It's got to be here? No. Darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> we are struggling. Part of it is that I don't always grab the, the piece that I want to grab. <clears throat> oh, we know it's the right one. Okay, this piece goes here. No, to the left. There we go. This one goes in this corner. This one goes over here. This one goes in the center, because that one has banjo. This one goes over... No, it's the right more. No, this one. There we go. <laughs> Come on, game. Work with me. Uh... Oh, that one goes there. Wait, no, it doesn't? And it's got to go over here. This one goes up here. This one goes in this corner. This one goes... Oh, man, this is rough. This is rough. This one goes here. This one goes over here. Come on. I gotta rotate it. Two seconds left! Whew. That was tight, guys. Core, I'm impressed! Go and try Bottles Bonus 5. Oh boy. That was, uh, that was very tight. I was like, go fast! Go fast, come on! Just one more level left, guys. Oh, just one more? I thought there were seven. Ooh, Mad Monster Mansion. Okay, what are we working with here? Somewhere in the, the corner, like that. Okay. This one is like over here. Or, roughly... Wait, no. I want to go up one. There we go. Which one is this? It has part of the glass? So it's got to be up here somewhere. Alright, never mind. I'm going to have to go with something a little bit more recognizable. There we go. Oh, wait, no. There. That's what I'm talking about. Is this a corner? It is. And it's not that corner. <laughs> this one has the launch pad in it, so that's a good sign. But holy cow, is it dark. Really difficult to tell. <clears throat> this one has the broken glass in it. No, to the left. There we go. Um, no, 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 to the, to the right. Wait, what? Okay, to the side. You're getting sidelined. 
the the mist or whatever is pretty helpful, I would say, overall. I don't know where to do with that one. What about this one? Is it like this? Over to the left one? Yeah. This guy goes here then. This guy goes over here, I think. Where does this one go? This way. Okay. This one fits in... No, not like that. Come on, Banjo. I say that like, like it's all Banjo's doing, you know? Darn it. We were just a few pieces away, but... But we definitely have improved at these, which is reassuring. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the, the corner here. This goes like over here? No, to the left one. There we go. Let's see here, this is up here? Yep, here is the window as well. And that goes right about there. This one had the picture in it, so I think it's to the right or, or something like that. Wait, no, like this. That was the centerpiece, essentially. <laughs> that goes there. What else do I want? This one has the pirate picture in it, so I think it's back here. That's not lining up. Over here. No. Down one. There we go. This one goes up here somewhere. This one goes over towards the right, I think. You can, like, sort of test out various locations. This is definitely not in the right orientation. There we go. No, wait, no, this is further to the right. Nope, one over to the left. Okay, where does this go? I don't know where that one goes. This one... Wait, no, rotate it, rotate it, Banjo. Come on. What? Oh, wait, no, wrong one. Oh, I'm gonna mess it up. There are like two pieces left. Come on, no, grab the piece. Oh, did you guys see that? I tried to get the hand over and hit A. I might have been able to do that had the game not failed to detect my, my grabbing the piece. Maybe, it would have been incredibly close. All right, let me start with this corner here. I can grab this piece here, which is uh, working out pretty well. I think this one goes over here too. This one goes like right about here or here. This one has part of the window in it, so I think it goes, no, not there, here. Um, I don't know where that one goes. This one has banjo in it, so I think it goes right there. This one goes right about here, I think, or no, a little bit lower. There we go. What else? This one, where do you belong? There. This is the Jinjo, so that goes up there. This one had the launch pad in it, so it definitely belongs over here. This one had the, the portrait in it, so this one definitely belongs, nope, to the left a little bit. This one has, what's it called? Oh, no, it had part of the bed frame in it, but it no longer does. This is that corner. This is going to be on that side. No, to the left. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a little bit difficult of getting the game to pick the, uh, does it go like this? Or like this, there we go. To do the right piece that you want it to be. What? There we go. Come on. What piece is this? This piece? Yeah, okay. And then this one belongs over here, and then this one goes like this. Come on, place it. Awesome. Okay, so we got it. Whew. Well, I didn't think anyone would do that one. Well done. Here is your last prize. It's Big Bottles Bonus. <laughs> okay, so Bottles Bonus, one through five, and then Big Bottles Bonus. Er, I've got no more games left for you to play. Well, thanks for all your help, Bottles. It was a, it was a fun time. So that's the first of the various things I want to show you in this episode, so I hope you guys have your seatbelts in and are ready for the long haul. The next thing we're going to be doing is going... Actually, oh! I didn't realize it, but we can actually go over here and check on this rock. That's pretty funny. 
Anything interesting to interact with? Nope. Okay. Well, then the next place I'm actually going to see you guys, I'll probably do some editing so that it doesn't take forever to get all, all over, you know, Gruntilda's lair and such, but will be Bubble Gloop Swamp. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so there are a couple of fun things we can do in this area that we did not do the first time we were here. So the first of which is we're going to want to grab these wading boots and run on over here because you may remember there was an area where we found, I believe it was the portrait for Freeze Easy Peak, and I don't know, I don't think we did everything we could have done there. So we're going to head back and hopefully, well, do those things. The boots look like they disappear when, when Banjo jumps like that, but but they're there. Of course. We get hit while we're in the middle of that animation. Okay, so I just wanted to be say to be sure, but you'll notice we broke this open, but and there's a golden feather, but if you look carefully, there's actually a passageway that we can go through. Obviously we're a little bit too big right now though, so we are going to you're going to get hit by this thing a bunch of times, apparently. And so what we're going to do is actually try to make ourselves small enough to actually get through there. And of course, how else are we going to do that with none other than Mumbo's magic? So we're going to... come on guys. <laughs> we're going to head into Bubble Gloop Swamp, transform into our little crocodile self, and come on back out. Wow, we actually made it, like, just in time. And then there's one other thing we're going to do while we're in Bubble Gloop Swamp as well. So where was Mumbo's hut in here again? It is kind of fun to revisit the levels. Just, you know, having completed the whole game at this point. All the notes and everything. Just knowing you can come back here and, and enjoy, you know, to the fullest. Just goof around and go wherever you want. He wasn't over there. He wasn't over there. I think he was over this way, right? I mean, maybe I'm not, right? But I think he was. Was it over this way? Yeah, it was totally over this way. Alright, so we are going to go over here. There's a buzz bomb, as we now know. The names of all the enemies, right? Having seen the credits. We're going to go on over here. so that we can transform into our cute crocodile little self. Second pair of boots. It's crazy to be kind of traversing the, the world after having beaten the game. When I beat the game before, I didn't really do a lot of this extra stuff. Or in, in general, I, I haven't, period. Um, before really spend time to go through all those puzzles, take a look at what the secrets are in Treasure Trove Cove, as well as what Mumbo Jumbo refers to later on um, in that secret ending. So, uh, regardless, oh, I should have looked how many Mumbo tokens there should be. I guess there's one other thing actually that we never experienced with with Mumbo Jumbo's magic, but he can actually accidentally turn you into something else. And I don't think we'll actually end up using... Where's the exit again for for, little, for our little crocodile self? thought there was like a little exit. Yeah, it looks like it's here. Okay. Oh, no, that was the window. Gotcha. So, yeah, we're going to go over here. Um, as you know, this is the Xbox Live Arcade version, meaning it has the wonderful world of achievements, much like PlayStation's trophy system. I feel pretty conflicted about them. Sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're obnoxious, sometimes they really take advantage of compulsive completionists like myself. But, so one thing we want to do is, Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge if Greeny not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B to slide off like a slug. Her, Greeny brave. But Mr. Vile will soon chew Greeny's something. Um, so, we're gonna we're gonna do this game, and the whole point is there's an achievement that says you need to eat. I think it's like 30. What are these called again? Grumblies or not? Not grumblies. 
something. <laughs> but 30 of them in one round, which is actually pretty difficult. I think we can actually use those shoes in the back that we unlocked in Gobi's Valley, the, the sneakers, the Nikes, the Like Mike <laughs> shoes, to go a little bit faster. Yeah, we can, which is actually really quite cool. I wonder how this affects the rubber banding and everything. I wonder if it lasts like the entire round or not. I don't know. Aw, oh, man. We're not going to get the 30, I think, this round. Maybe. Probably not, though. We're pretty close. We've got 28, which is pretty good. Grr. Greeny won game, but Mr. Vile keep prizes until Greeny wins all games. So next up, I think we're we're just getting yellows, right? Oh, no, we're getting the reds. We're still getting the reds. So we're not at the one that switches yet. Come on. And our shoes are still lasting, which is pretty cool. So here's the advantage. I mean, if you wanted to come back to this world afterwards, you could do that and have an easier time with this mini game if you had these shoes. So we're, we're not doing super hot in terms of trying to reach 30 of these things. But we're not doing awful by any means. I thought I saw a green one show up. I think that was just something out of the corner of my eye, though. We might actually lose this if we don't get some good placements, because he is chomping away. Come on. Wow, we just narrowly won that one. And that time we only got 25. Er, Greeny won that one as well, but Mr. Vile still keep hold of prize until next game one. Alright, so this is where we switch back and forth, I believe. And when we did this the, the first time, it was actually a really close call, I remember. We needed the switch right at the end. What? Why did they all go away right as it switched? That's not appreciated. So we get that one. We can go on over here. Switch. Nice. Oh, what? I missed. I'm gonna go over here so I can also time that with getting the shoes again. Where are these yellows? Where are the yellows? Here's one. Here's another. Come on, switch. Red, red. We're not gonna get that one, but we can get this one. And we can get this one. And this one. Nope, or not, I guess. Yellow. Come on. Yellow. Switch to red. Oh man, only 25 again. So, well, I guess that's what it shows if you if you win the game. Grr, Greeny must have cheated. Mr. Vile not giving you prize. Hey, hand it over before I chomp you. Grr, you'll have to catch Mr. Vile first. <laughs> so we caught Mr. Vile. Yow! Greeny wins. Here is prize. I guess this is an interesting little extra in and of itself, but Greeny fancy chances again, huh? Same deal. Win three games to it. Don't... Um, right now I want to get these extra lives first. We're gonna we're gonna hit B for now, just because I wanna I wanna pick up these extra lives. Okay, so what I wanted to do was get the achievement for getting all of the a game of thirty grumblies. So I'm gonna go for that, and I'll I'll edit until it actually happens, just because I know you guys probably don't want to sit through all of this game again. So let's give it a go. Here we go. This time we are killing it. Uh, 
All right, and there you have it. The first time after I say that, um, you know, we'll uh, we'll give it a shot, maybe without some editing and all that jazz. But now we have another game to play. I'll I'll skip to the end of this because I know you guys don't really want to see this, right? <laughs> Well, that's easily got to be his most devastating loss, 25 to 16, but there we have it, we've we've won it again, and we, what's it called, we got over 30 in one go, so that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, wait, did he not even hand over more lives? Wow, so you can't even, like, grind this out, per se, if you wanted to. That's pretty surprising, actually. But, anyways, so now that we've done that, Wow, it's crazy. Playing as a uh, little crocodile, Banjo feels so slow compared to the Talon Trot because it is really slow. But it's just funny because you don't really, I mean, you don't feel it that often. So now we'll head on out over to that area from before. Slowly but surely, right? <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. That's that's what they say, isn't it? But yeah, so there's a lot of history with secrets in Banjo-Kazooie. Um, we'll get to those specific collectibles for what was called the Stop and Swap later on. But right now, just kind of showing off a few other sort of hidden areas of the game. Um, some things related to achievements for the Xbox 360 version. After this, actually, I think we'll have completed all of the achievements, which is pretty cool. And what's actually really neat in what I'll show is that's actually reflected in Rare Replay itself. So, we'll get to that in a minute. But, here is Cheeto! Baron Bird getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck! Find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter on Sandcastle floor and treasure trove is blue eggs. And so I found out that all of these, they don't give you infinite, but they actually double your capacity for those items. So you get double up to 200 blue eggs, up to 100 red feathers, and up to 20 golden feathers, which is pretty cool deal if you ask me. But yeah, so with that, we found all of the Cheeto locations, and we actually have gotten all of the achievements. I'll show that later. The next thing we're going to want to do, well, I'll show you. We'll, I'll see you in Freeze Easy Peak, that is. Alright, here we are in Freeze Easy Peak, and this is Waza's little cave, if you remember the walrus. We had come in here before, and I believe we found a Jinjo, and at that time I pointed out as well, Eek! The bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Waza alone! So, over here, can we... Can we actually get this? I thought we could. I think we can collect the, the snow, or like the ice key, or whatever it's called. We should be able to collect that. Hmm. Oh, rip. That's not good. I thought that this would be broken or whatever. Hmm. Because I'm fairly confident we can... Yeah, we should be able to collect this. This is one of the, the secret stop and swap items. Let me Let me see if I can figure out how to actually get in here. Alright, so after doing a little bit of research, it seems like if you have a Banjo-Tooie file or a Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts file, this will be accessible and you can actually get this, and it has impacts on unlockables in those games. But otherwise, you would have to input a cheat in Treasure Trove Cove in order to actually collect it. So, for what it's worth, we're going to talk about how the Ice Key is here. It was planned to be a collectible that could be used for Stop and Swap, which I'll talk about in a moment, but... Yeah, that's, that's one of the, the cool secrets of Banjo-Kazooie. The next, we're going to start talking about the mystery eggs. This, obviously, was shown in that little secret cutscene at the end with Mumbo Jumbo. There were two eggs that were referred to, a pink one and a blue one. So let's go see if we can find those. One of them was in Treasure Trove Cove, and the other was in Gobi's Valley. So next up, 
we'll go to Gobi's Valley because, well, Treasure Trove Cove, there's a lot to... There's a lot to input in that castle, right? We could input the cheat to get this ice key, but there's not really much worth doing with that, so... So, we might not. And some of the cheat codes of this game, they're full-on phrases, like, you know, 10, 11 words, and you saw how long it took to, you know, go around and spell out something like Banjo-Kazooie, right? So, inputting all these cheat codes could take a while, but... Oh, I ran right into him. Lovely. So, how do we get to Gobi's Valley again? Oh, we, we passed that on our way in. So, we'll go on over there and see if we can find that egg. That was one of the ones that was shown very well in that, well, moving picture frame that Mumbo Jumbo had. I forget. We can find a pair of the waiting boots around here, right? Are they behind here? Over here? Are they in here? This is where they are, aren't they? Yes. It's really nice having that extra bar of health. I can just kind of more carelessly run around the place, not really worry too much about my health. Right now, if we didn't have that double bar, we would actually be in a little bit of trouble. So, needless to say, I'm uh, happy that I've got it. Okay, into Gobi's Valley we go. I think this is Trunker. That's what we said his name was. We can we can speed things up a little bit with this, I think. Although I think we need to get somewhere. We can only get via flying. Is that Slappa? There's Grabba and Slappa, right? <laughs> I remember finding that really funny. Oh, can I not? Gotcha. So if you do an attack, it'll actually end early. Interesting. I, didn't, I don't think I knew that. Alright, let's do some flying. Because I believe... Is that where Gobi was? Hmm. Where is that door that Gobi was at, right? There was a whole secret room. Is it within... Is it within here? Then I think I need to open that somehow, but I don't remember exactly how. Although, didn't Gobi say he was going to go to that place with lava or fire or something like that? I don't see him anywhere else. So yeah, I I'm fairly confident we actually need to go into that labyrinth area again. So, how did we open that? There was a switch out here somewhere, right? This opens that little pyramid. That opens that. Hmm. Maybe it just closes after you do something. Alright, back to the lab again. <laughs> I'll land over here just to be safe, I guess. Maybe it opens when we're here. No. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay, so it seems like it's not just the ice key, it's pretty much everything that can only be accessed if you have a Banjo-Tooie or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts save file, as they were intended to be stop and swap with them. So what we're going to do actually is go to Treasure Trove Cove, because we can input these cheat codes so that we can actually see and show off where these collectibles are, and I want to see what the bonuses were for beating the, the puzzles with bottles. So. That will be our next goal, is to make it to Treasure Trove Cove, where we can go to the Sandcastle and spend a good hour or so inputting a variety of codes to make sure these collectibles can actually be collected. And then, once we've done that, I can actually show off collecting them. Notably though, I think you're not allowed to save after inputting those cheat codes, and your scores won't be uploaded on Xbox Live, whatever that means. I don't have Xbox Live, this is literally the only game I've ever played on an Xbox that I have my own profile for and stuff, so I'm not too bothered by it, but yeah, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to make our way to Treasure Trove Cove. We haven't gone to Treasure Trove Cove in quite some time. I wonder, will it show the Xbox 360 achievement thing? 
Let's see. Nope, that's... That is certainly the Xbox one. Can I see it here? Ah, achievements. What is this? Bet you thought jigsaws were boring, Bottles disagrees and has seven of them to be solved. What? How is that the case? I, I swear we got all six, right? And he said there weren't any more. Hmm. So in breaking news, it turns out there is a seventh puzzle. Bottles was lying to me, and there's a secret seventh one. So rather than go to Treasure Trove Cove, we're gonna come all the way back here. Man, this secret episode is such a such a mess. I hope you guys are still having fun and looking forward to seeing at least some of what this game has to offer. Come on, there, there's the seventh one. Let me look at it. Ha! Fooled you. I've got one really special prize left. Let's see you do this one. Feather face. I'm ready, goggles. Here we go. All right, let's give it a go, guys. What is it gonna be? Oh, it's in the beehive. Interesting. Interestingly, the, the time limit is different. Also, holy cow, it is tough to tell where everything is just due to the nature of how, well, how similar everything is. Is that here or here? Wait, no, this is a corner piece. Um. Wow, this is... This is tough, guys. <laughs> no? There we go. This has got to be one of these ones down here, too. Here? Maybe here? There we go. Yeah, and I also just realized the, the time limit's lower. Up here, maybe? No, to the left. There we go. Yeah, look at that. There's no way we're going to make it in time. <laughs> Where is this one? Is it here? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Talk about a tough jigsaw puzzle. So we got a decent number of pieces. Definitely not enough though. They're requiring some rotation. The the piz the the, piz the puzzle is quite difficult in terms of distinguishing different parts of it. And we have only 75 seconds. All right, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Where is everything? No, no, come on, rotate it. Like this, there we go. It is so difficult to tell where things go. No. Is it over here? There we go. There's just like not a lot to work with. No, it's up one. What? There we go. I'm trying to do the ones that show, what is, no, over this way. Ones that show the kind of honeycomb piece. Grab the piece, Banjo! I can't do anything if you don't grab the piece! This belongs over here. No. Here? No, wait, it's gotta go above that. Oh man, this is tough. And look, we already have seven seconds left. So we still got a handful of pieces, which is in and of itself an accomplishment in my opinion, but... Whew, it's tough. This might be one of those... Alright, let's use the editing magic. Darn, that was the closest I'd made it. Just three pieces left. Oh, I thought I was going so fast. Whew, this is a tough one, guys.
Come on. Yes! Woo! That was tough. Hey, you must have cheated to do that. No way, Bug Slurper. Now hand over the special prize. Oh, very well. Enter the code Wishy Washy Banjo for some good, clean fun. Okay, and now we have officially defeated all of. Uh, what's his name? Bottles' puzzles. I'm sorry, guys, this episode has been all over the place. Now we're finally gonna head to Treasure Trove Cove. Okay, we have finally made it, and it is time to input some codes. So the first one we're gonna do is, I think, is Bottles Bonus 1. Ha! Ha ha ha! Look at you! To change back, just type no bonus. Look at us, look at our huge banjo head! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. What? Can I not? Oh, I can't input any more? Ah, man, so we probably have to hit no bonus in between each of these. Okay, well, at least it's not a crazy thing to, to spell it. <laughs> Look at that. This is absolutely hilarious, guys. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Alright, back to normal. Can I not input another one? Have I already used the B, or do I have to walk in and out again? That's probably what I have to do. So that was Bottles Bonus 1. Now it is time for Bottles Bonus 2. <laughs> so now this is Banjo with just huge hands and feet. That's really funny, actually. It's a shame you can't combine them, right? Like huge banjo head and then huge banjo hands, huge banjo feet. That's pretty funny. It's pretty silly. All right, we'll go back in and out. And then we've got bottles bonus three coming right up. So now, so now Kazooie is really big. That's actually really funny. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Look at Kazooie's face while she does that. It's so funny. Okay. Alright, back to no bonus. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> look at this guy, <laughs> look at Banjo, oh my god, <laughs> it's so derpy, I love it, it's so funny, look at how long he is, <laughs> that's hilarious, wow, I like this one, this one is probably my favorite so far, and look at how, <laughs> when he does the crown pound. <laughs> It's so funny looking. Okay, so Bottles Bonus 5 is a mix of those two, where you have the huge hands and the huge feet, and then the really long body. That's really funny, actually. <laughs> Banjo has definitely seen better days. Look at how high up he gets, though, because of that really long body. That's really funny. Alright, last but not least, we've got Big Bottles Bonus. And if I had to guess, this is going to be all of those things combined. So I'm actually quite excited to see how this one turns out. It was what? Yeah, yeah Big Bottles Bonus. So let's go ahead and type that out and see what happens. We got long, slender banjo body, 
We've got the the huge hands and feet. We've got big banjo head. We've got big kazooie. I really, I really hope they just throw it all together. Big bottles bonus. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. So he doesn't have the slender body, unfortunately. But look at this derpy bear. <laughs> the huge head, the big hands, the big feet. And he's got <laughs> a huge kazooie, too. <laughs> it's so funny. Look at how monstrous this thing is. I'm sure there's some creepypasta out there about this banjo. <laughs> how funny. Okay, so that's the big bottles bonus. There's only one more left from that secret puzzle, that secret seventh puzzle. I really should have tried to just do another puzzle, because I thought there were seven, but the game convinced me. Bottles tricked me that there wasn't. So the next one was what, Wishy Washy Banjo, I think? And this may actually tie into something I alluded to earlier in the episode. So let's, let's give it a go. Here we go. Hey, that much bad magic. Washer not as good as bear. Don't come balling to mumbo. If can't get through all worlds. So this is actually uh, a washing machine banjo. <laughs> Look at how sad he looks. It's so funny. He's got the door open a little bit. The pants on. Kind of reminds me of SpongeBob a little bit. Aw, oh, they don't show. So he... So he's functionally Banjo, and I think you can, can you do, yeah, you can do all of the things you normally would. This is quite the acrobatic washing machine we have here. This is really funny. But in the original for the Nintendo 64, there was always a slight chance that Mumbo would accidentally turn you into a washing machine, which I think is the origin of this. This is so funny. Love it. So that's, those are all of the, oh my goodness. It's so funny when he does the, the ground pound as the washing machine. But yeah, those are all of the rewards for completing the, the bottles puzzle, which is nice. Next up, there's going to be a variety of cheat codes related to the stop and swap collectibles. So that's up next. Those codes are long. I'm actually wondering if it's even really worth it to go through all of them. Because getting all of the collectibles, oh man, I want to... Let's at least go to that cove from before. It's like a secret, right? It's something I want to... Is that it? Yeah, that's where it should be. But again, it's not going to show up because we don't have a Banjo-Tooie or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts gameplay or save file on this Xbox, unfortunately. So the only way to make it show up would be to input all these cheat codes. Oh man, I really want to. All right, I have come to a decision. I'm already making this episode. It's already gonna be a, a monster feature film length episode. Might as well go all in while I have the time. So we're gonna input these cheat codes, the first of which is for the Cyan mystery egg. <clears throat> and that cheat code is cheat, don't you go and tell her about the secret in her cellar. So I'll be back in five hours when I'm done inputting that cheat code. You guys hear that? What the heck? They seem very upset. Cheat. Don't you go and tell her. Hopefully this works. That sound is not reassuring. None of these seem to be working. Hmm? Why aren't they working? Normally there's some sound effect. I'm going to I'm going to try again. I'm going to mess around with this. Ow! 
Wow, it worked! Banjo, if you use this cheat, saving will be stopped, and your score will not be posted to the leaderboards. Are you sure you want to use this cheat? Press A for yes or B for no. We are going to use this cheat. Cheat enabled, saving, and leadership board updates disabled. So there's the cyan mystery egg. So we've unlocked that one. I'm glad that that code actually worked. Now we're going to move on to the next one for the pink mystery egg. This is the one that's actually going to be just outside the sandcastle and treasure trove cove. This code is going to be cheat out of the sea. It rises to reveal more secret prizes. Or out of the sea it rises to reveal more secret prizes. So we're going to give it a go. All right, Banjo, if you use this cheat, saving will be stopped. Yep, the usual, and your score will not be posted. Luckily, this confirms that we actually got the cheat code correct, right? Are we sure we want to use this cheat? Oh yeah, we do. So now we can see that that shark food island has risen, which is lovely. Next up is gonna be for the blue mystery egg. Again, one we saw from Mumbo Jumbo. This cheat is going to be cheat. A desert door opens wide, ancient secrets wait inside. So, here we go. <laughs> Alright, and there's the third code. This is the one for, again, the blue mystery egg in Gobi's Valley, so we'll unlock that. And then we have a few more eggs, and then finally the ice key. Oh boy, this is gonna be a real marathon of an episode. <laughs> You guys are the real champs if you're all if you're probably still watching this, but finally that door is opened. There we go. All right. Next up is going to be the green mystery egg, which is in Mad Monster Mansion, and the cheat for this one is cheat amidst the haunted gloom, a secret in the bathroom. <laughs> All right, and this code is complete. This is again for the green mystery egg, one of the two, I believe, that's in Mad Monster Mansion. Oh, and it's just chilling there. It's literally right on top of Logo there. That's too funny. All right, so next up is going to be for the red mystery egg, which is going to be in Rusty Bucket Bay. And the code for that one, of course, starts with cheat, but then the phrase is what? It is the secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. Oh wait, actually I messed it up. It's this secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. We're gonna have to start over. It's not the secret, it's this secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
All right, successful code completion. Just a couple more, guys. Just a couple more. It'll be tough to actually find this. It's one of, I'm pretty sure it's one of the windows you have to break in order to find this specific location. So, might take a minute. Yep, and there it is, just waiting on the bed for us. Oh, that was the captain's cabin. That was one of the puzzles, wasn't it? <laughs> that totally was. All right, so we've got one more mystery egg. It is the yellow mystery egg, and it's found in Click Clock Wood. And the code, of course, starts with cheat, as they do. And the phrase is, Now Banjo will be able to see it on Nabnut's table. So, here we go. Okay, final mystery, final mystery egg code has been successfully input. So this is the one for Click Clock Wood, and then there will be one more code for the ice key, which earlier I said, okay, probably not gonna go all, you know, spend all the time to actually go ahead and collect it, but if I'm gonna go ahead and collect all these mystery eggs anyways, aw, look at Nabnuts and his wife sleeping together. That's, that's actually pretty cute. Um, <laughs> I might as well do this and really just kind of finish the job, right? So the last one, in order to get the ice key, we of course start off with the word cheat, and the phrase itself is going to be... Let's see, now you can see a nice ice key which you can have for free. Whew, that's a bit of a long phrase, so here we go. And there you have it. There's the cheat code for the ice key. So after this, we can actually go out and start to collect these things and show what they look like in the game. This is something that when I completed this game the first time around on the N64, this just wasn't even available to me. So I'm actually really glad that we're playing on the Xbox Live Arcade version so that we can actually go ahead and get these collectibles. I know it's taking a lot of time and it is definitely wearing on me that this uh, secret episode or bonus episode is taking forever. However, it is satisfying to know that, well, I'm, I'm really completing this game. I'm really taking it up on all that it has to offer. And shh, those of you that know how many band or mumbo tokens there are, don't tell me that there are not enough or, or I haven't collected enough. Look at that little triumphant music. Love it. So this is what we saw in that video, obviously, right? Or the moving picture. So we can try and climb up here. We're gonna do a little bit better than the player that was showed in that video, though, right? Speaking of videos of Banjo, there's actually a collectible I really want to purchase for my own collection. For those of you that don't know, I'm a, I'm a game collector in a, in a variety of ways. But Banjo, being one of my favorite games, I actually have the box for it. I don't have the manual, um, but I have my original copy and I have a box, but there's actually a VHS that came with, I think, pre-orders from Toys R Us, and look at that! The mystery egg, something I dreamed about collecting when I played this on the Banjo, or on the N64. We found it! Oh, an egg! That's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. I reckon it'll unlock something special in my Nuts and Bolts adventure. Can't wait. So, yeah, that's actually, there's a VHS. That it's, I think, like a promotional trailer or something for Banjo-Kazooie that I really want to add to my collection. But anyways, so that's the first of our mystery eggs. I will talk a little bit about Stop and Swap when we get to our second egg, which I think will be the one, which one do we want to go for next? 
I think the next one that's reasonable, there are two in Mad Monster Mansion. There's one in Gobi's Valley. Probably whichever whichever level we can get to the most easily. That's the one we're gonna get, so I'll see you guys there. So I just teleported to Click Clock Wood because it seemed like the easiest. Um, just based on where we were with Treasure Trove Cove, so we'll go ahead and get this one. Honestly, this one will probably be my favorite, <laughs> given that... What's it called? Yellow is my favorite color. Now, it looked like Nabnuts was sleeping with his wife. So I'd imagine they're in their hibernation period. So let's head on over to winter and see if we can find them this way. Where was that flight pad? Over there? Yeah, that's what we're going to want to take advantage of. We should have a decent number of flight feathers. Not a ton. We did exhaust quite a few in that grunty battle, but we should be okay. Hopefully. 24 is not a lot. But hey, after this, there's really nothing left to use them for, so no need to hold back, I guess. 17. And I think they're going to be over on our left. Or did we already go up too high, actually? Yeah, we might have gone too high. Because I recalled this being the area where we looked for the acorns. No, this is it. This is it. So we'll go... Do you want to go up there? No, that's the storage area. So I don't think I actually need to, like, break through... Yeah, they were in the main area, so... We don't need to try to do that careful flying. We can just break this window, and I think we'll be good. So here we are. Sorry, nappers. Hmm, acorns. Got sna... Uh, oh, and there's the egg. Nabnuts and his, uh... And his wife. And then we've got the yellow mystery egg, which is going to be inevitably my favorite. Lovely. Wow! Another one of those special stop and swap eggs. Hope this isn't a cruel joke. <laughs> and we can actually use them this time. I love the self-awareness about how they were completely useless in the N64 era. But, okay. Now... Now we've got to get out of here. Alive, that is. And it sounds like it shouldn't be too crazy difficult, but yeah, next up, we'll see where I'm able to easily access next. And then we'll go to go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this time while we go to our next level to talk about what Stop and Swap actually is. Stop and Swap was a mechanism that took advantage of the N64's hardware. Basically, game data would be loaded for, I think, up to 10 seconds after you removed a cartridge. And Rare wanted to take advantage of that mechanic by saying, oh, if you have a certain collectible, a certain data, whatever it may be, in Banjo-Kazooie, and you take out your cartridge, and while the N64 is still on, input something like Banjo-Tooie, it's able to detect that you have those collectibles in that save file, which in and of itself is incredibly cool. And as a result, they can say, oh, we can unlock something in this game for you because you have this collectible in this other game. I just don't want to deal with all of those, so, so we're doing that. But that's how Stop and Swap worked. And the idea was there were these collectibles you could find in this game that would unlock stuff in Banjo-Tooie. And now I think... Let's see, we can go to... Yeah, I think Rusty Bucket Bay is going to be the most accessible at the moment. So we'll go ahead and do that. Do I go through here? Yeah, I think I go through here to get to Rusty Bucket Bay. So technically, we're, we're going out of order, I guess. But we're just getting the ones we can while we can, right? Sometimes that's all you can ask for. We're going to have to struggle to find the... The captain's quarters though but yeah so that's why they're called stop and swap items um, that's the mechanism that was used but eventually the n64's hardware was changed meaning that 10 seconds was reduced to about a second and as a result not much could actually be accomplished it was pretty much impossible to to do that anymore and as a result well stop and swap became unviable and though they were included in the game they became irrelevant because nobody could actually use them for Banjo-Tooie. And so it's pretty neat that... Oh, and there's the code again, right? 312111. I can't even believe I missed that the first time around. That's actually really funny. Is that a Mumbo token? It is a Mumbo token! 
Oh my goodness! There is the, the Mumbo token. Please tell me that's the last Mumbo token. Please tell me that just on a whim going back through Rusty Bucket Bay, I found the last and only Mumbo token I missed throughout the entirety of the game. That would be hilarious. But, but yeah, all that to say that it was supposed to be a really cool mechanism that eventually got fixed and as a result became, well, irrelevant. Can I get up here? Oh, man. They're going to make me do some climbing. Got to find this captain's quarters. It's one of the rooms here. I don't know if we actually found it our first time around. We'll see, right? Or maybe not. Maybe we won't see. Let's check here. Is this it? I don't think this is it. The captain's quarters... No, that was the place that had sort of like the royal rug and everything. I'm recalling it from the... From the puzzle more than from this experience. Or rather the, the cutscene that showed off... The, um... The room with the egg. You can kind of tell the texture is a little bit different. But I don't want to potentially miss something. Here's the captain's quarters. Nice. So there we go, we got a third one. Is Banjo gonna make a fun comment? Nope, I guess not. Okay, so now we have one in Gobi's Valley and two in Mad Monster's Mansion, so or Mad Monster Mansion, so that'll be our next goal. I don't have any more stop and swap stuff to talk about, so I guess I'll just see you guys when we're there. Alright, we've made it into Gobi's Valley. Now it's time to access that area via the magic carpet again. We got Slappa here. Trying to trying to get all up in our face, but not succeeding at doing so. Hop on the magic carpet for a magic carpet ride. And we're that much closer to getting this blue mystery egg. And then I gotta remember how to get to Mad Monster Mansion. <laughs> so what's pretty interesting is this used to be where that labyrinth was, right? But now it's just this room, which is pretty cool. I, I like how it looks. We hit the switch, and there it is, the blue mystery egg, the one from Mumbo's video. So that's pretty cool. Pretty exciting. And now the struggle to, to refind Mad Monster Mansion begins. Okay, so there are a couple of the eggs in here. One of them is in the cellar, and then one of them is by Logo. So, I guess we'll start off going to the cellar because, well, I know for a fact how to get down here. It's relatively straightforward. Is it in here? Nope. All right, we're gonna take this guy out so I don't have to deal with that again. Which one was it? I don't think it was any of these. There was one of them that's, that I don't think we could break, period. Is it that one over there? The one that's open now? Probably. Yup. Wow, it leads to a whole little like secret room. This is pretty cool. Actually, this one looks really neat. I like the color on this one. Cool. So there is the cyan mystery egg. Next up is finding Lago. So we're gonna climb up here, and I'm pretty sure he's in one of these rooms that we can break into. I think it's actually a side room though, not one of that main one. So we're gonna go around on the side here, see if we can find a more subtle room. The bathroom. <laughs> ah, yes, this is it. So there it is. All the way up there. Again, I really like that green, too. I actually really like how the colors look on all these mystery eggs. And so with that, we've found all of the mystery eggs. So that's rather exciting. There's really just one more stop and swap collectible to find. And that is going to be the ice key in Freeze Easy Peak. I know we already stopped by. I know we already took a look at it earlier. But I've got to go take a look myself. I've got to go collect it. Now that we've come this far, how can I say I completed Banjo? 
if I had the opportunity to get the stop and swap items and didn't. That's just sacrilege at that point. <laughs> so we'll get the ice key. I really hope I got all the mumbo tokens. I'm gonna look that up after this episode. Those of you that have, you know, probably feel like just Googling it right now are like, oh, he actually missed some, but I don't know, I, I hope I get it. Maybe I'll post about it in the Discord or something afterwards. But this could be the end of our collectibles of our journey in Banjo-Kazooie. After we get this ice key, I actually would like to briefly head into Rare Replay itself because one, it shows an incredible menu and uh, design for the Banjo-Kazooie game itself that is really fun to look at and I really want to show off. And I don't remember if I did that in the first episode or not. So I really want to show that off. And then secondly, it has, I believe, some rewards or something like that for doing the various Xbox achievements. So I don't know what those are. And so I want to show those off and that'll be the, that'll be the final hurrah for this game. And this bonus episode, I always think these bonus episodes are going to be short little experiences, but they take forever. <laughs> yep, yep, we're back. There it is. The ice key. Look at it in all of its glory. It's very cool looking. Cool. An enormous ice key. We should keep this stop and swamp item for later. Hey, Banjo, we found all the stop and swap items. Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Sounds good to me, Kazooie. All right, and just like that, we have completed Banjo Kazooie. We took a look, we completed the puzzles. We input all the cheat codes to see what the rewards were. We got all the notes, all the jiggies. We got all the stop and swap items. I think that's really all there is to do. And so, that being said, we'll head on into Rare Replay and exit out of the game for, for one last time. Yeah, leaderboards. I didn't even realize that was a thing, but yeah, then there are the achievements. Which, yeah, we should have all of them. So, complete seven jigsaw puzzles, find Cheeto three times, chomp 30 red yumblies, defeat Grunty with Gingonator, <laughs> complete Grunty's Furnace Fun, collect all the honeycombs, collect all 900 notes, learn all Banjo's moves, collect two jiggies, transform by Mumbo, beat Nipper, and free Clanker. Wow, so we got them all. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so I will see you guys briefly in Rare Replay. I guess, one last time, let's watch this game over. Is it going to play the whole thing with Grunty, or is it just going to do a regular game over again? Interesting, it doesn't. It doesn't do the whole Gruntilda sequence, it just does the Jiggy and then goes back to the main menu. Very cool. Alright, so we'll head back to Rare Replay then. Alright, so here we are in Rare Replay looking for Banjo-Kazooie. Are we going to find it? Pretty soon, I believe it's chronological. There it is. So. Here is the, the little theater set up for Banjo-Kazooie. It's beautiful. Look at this. And we got all the tickets, so... We got all the milestones. Spectator 2. Oh, so that's something, I guess, Rare Replay specific. But you've unlocked a new video in the Rare Revealed Gallery. Would you like to go there now? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go there in a minute. <laughs> but take a look at this. So we got the milestones. We have all the milestones complete. Those are essentially just the achievements. So that's exciting. Um, oh, and I guess we're getting some achievements within Rare Replay itself, so I guess we we, uh, we take those. And and then we can take a look at this whole setup. We got Mumbo there, we got Gruntilda flying across, Banjo kicking in, and then of course the sort of cinematic, off of a reel type gameplay <laughs> displaying in the middle. Really very beautiful setup, and I very much like it. It's a, it's a great tribute to a wonderful game. And with that, I think we can finally end things off. I want to thank you guys again so much for your support throughout the entirety of this series, despite the interruption in the middle. And I hope you guys enjoyed this game just as much as I did. It's a game I'm incredibly passionate about, and I hope I was able to share that love with you guys. 
I thank those of you, specifically those of you who have stayed to the end of this secret bonus episode, which has been a bit of a mess, but overall a fun experience, and I hope it kind of puts the cap on the game uh, for both myself and you guys, feeling like you've really experienced all that the game has to offer. If you haven't played the game yourself, definitely check it out. Um, thank you for your thoughts as well on Banjo-Tooie and Conkers. Those are definitely something I look forward to doing on the channel. So keep that in mind going forward. And yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is you guys decide to watch. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>